a couple modifications of this four-wheeler. Number one, I remote the engine. You can see there's nothing in there for dog power to get me going forward. There's no horsepower. It's all dogs. Number two, I reinforce these brakes because when I get to corners, sharp corners, I have to be able to have some control. For these guys that play crack the whip, and I'd be, I'd be out in the lake before I do it. But the final thing is, if you're hitching up a dog team, whether it's summer, David's just going to do a U-turn, then come from our right to our left, picking up speed while the dogs find the pace. There they go. All the rest of the dogs back here freaking out. Pick me a little go. Don't worry, though, because everybody exercises every day at Trail Breaker. That's why these dogs are so healthy and why they live so long. Granite lived to be 17 and a half. They ran over 41,000 miles in his career. Now keep looking to the left in between those same two cabins, but you're going to want to focus farther away at the base of the tall spruce trees. Here we are coming out of the trees at the far side of the lake, and these guys are flying along. We're going over 20 miles an hour, which is remarkable when you consider that the four-wheeler and I weigh over 600 pounds. And uh, these guys are pulling us along effortlessly. And I want to tell you, it's a lot harder pulling a four-wheeler than it is a sled in the wintertime, and these guys make it look look easy and there's a reason for that and that's called teamwork every dog does exactly the same amount of work as their partner every pair of dogs does the same amount as the rest and that's how you get a thousand miles in the Iditarod of Yukon Quest I have to give him a command I'll call you on the way back <laughs> Stinger said heck with this I'm gonna do a U-turn and be first now David shouted out haw because that's how he steers you do it with your voice no range of lines G for right haw for left Hike are all right to start them. Say whoa to stop, but then just pray, because they don't like that command. And you're going to see it when they get back. Watch that same trail. Coming the opposite way now. Here we are, headed out. And uh, we're headed home, I should say. And this team is looking beautiful, because now I'm not looking at just their athletic ability. I'm also looking to see how well they understand the strategy uh, of a winning marathon runner. And the strategy has always been that you conserve energy on the outbound leg, you can pour it on and use it as you approach the finish line. The path keeps in front, keeps it keeps behind. I'll tell you more when I get back. Okay, now you see them through this gate to the left of the dog pen. That's where you want to focus. And these are all Alaskan Huskies, by the way, if you're curious what kind of dog they are. This is a blend that's developed over thousands of years. And you don't see big purebred Siberians or Malamutes out here for the same reason you're not going to see a Clydesdale in the Kentucky Derby, right? Wouldn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense to do it here either. So here come the thoroughbreds, and I hope these brakes are working because they're still running out of the clip. Leg out. Yeah! Another good run, Dave Monson. Nicely done. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. These guys are the ones that, of course, are the champions. They deserve all the praise. So, after every run, every dog gets a pat on the head. And then, as you can see, everybody loves to play. Get out of gym class and right into the pool. That's a good spot you got here. And David, I know our, our friends are pretty interested in what's going on as I feel it's leaning to the port side. So I hope you or someone from the kennel is going to join us and, uh, and field questions today. Is that the plan? That's the plan. Uh, you know, I really love it when I'm able to come down. And it gives me an opportunity to, uh, to meet and talk with any of you who have questions about dogs. I'm going to be in the village where you're landing. I'll be in a cabin 
It's called the post office. It has a flag out in front, so you'll know which one it is. Uh, but also, what I really enjoy is it's got a beautiful bronze statue of our great lead dog, Granite, out in front. Uh, if nothing else, oh my gosh, I've got the craziest staff here. <laughs> Well, they're going to join you <laughs> as well. And I think Laura's going. Who the heck's going to you guys? Laura's going. They're the lovely and talented aquatic Iditarod finisher. Oh, my God. Okay, it's just like that. You know, W.C. Fields said never follow kids or dogs. You know, you'll never. <laughs> yeah, you got both. She'll be down there. We'll bring dogs. You'll be able to get up close and pet them. And if you have questions, we'll have the answers. Yeah. That's 40 degree water too. I don't know what they're thinking, but you know it's. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned for IQ, that's for the, sure. st the statue of granite, because because that's a nice photo spot. It's not the only way though that he's been immortalized, because there's the book about him that you and Susan wrote, and I'm hoping if anybody's got one of those, would like you to sign it or even write a little something personal in there. Are we gonna have time for that too? Well, absolutely. Um, and I really got to say, one of the things that has meant the most to my family and I in these last 10 years is when we've been able to share the story of Susan and Granite with other families, um, I think it's how much the kids identify with Granite. And I honestly think that's because he was a little puppy that nobody believed in. But Susan had faith in him. And because they worked so hard together, he became the greatest lead dog in history. So. If any of you would like me to personalize a copy to either yourselves, children, grandchildren, or maybe even a library, it would be my privilege to do it. All right, well, that'll be a nice way to spend the afternoon, David. And thank you in the meantime for sharing your backyard with us. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you down the street real soon. Thank you. 